Your Kanyakumari trip is not complete without taking this boat ride to Vivekananda Rock Memorial and Tiruvalluvar statue. These two monuments stand as twin sentinels of cultural heritage here in Kanyakumari. Hey everyone, it's Akhila. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, do consider subscribing because I post videos on travel, food and culture. Boating here is available every day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and they charge you 50 rupees per head. They also have a special ticket of 200 rupees if you want to avoid waiting in long queues. The boat ride lasted about 10 minutes and here you have to take a ticket for 20 rupees. What you see right now is the Vivekananda Rock Memorial built in 1970 which commemorates the great sage Swami Vivekananda who meditated here for 3 days 24th, 25th and 26th December in 1892. You should leave your footway here before entering inside. From ancient times this rock has been regarded as a sacred place. It took 650 workers 6 years to complete this majestic memorial. This rock particularly consists of two main structures, the Sripada Mandapam and the Vivekananda Mandapam. And in between, there is a compass engraved on the floor. After you finish, you can come sit in a boat that's ready to take you to the Tiruvalluvar statue. This towering statue is an ode to the revered Tamil poet and philosopher Tiruvalluvar, who is best known as the author of Tirukkural, which is a couplet on matters like ethics, politics, economics and love. He was unveiled on the 1st of January 2000. You are allowed to climb only up to the foot of the statue. The statue rises 133 feet high, symbolizing the 133 chapters of Tirukkural. It weighs 7000 tons in total. Together, these monuments not only reflect India's rich cultural and literary legacy, but also offer a breathtaking vista of natural beauty. 